Hello everybody, it's me Laura again, and today I'd like to warmly welcome you to another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck unboxing. In this video today, I will be unboxing the Shadol Showdown Structure Deck. In this deck, there are a total of 49 cards. In this video today, I shall be softly speaking each of the descriptions of the 49 cards included within this deck. So feel free to sit back and relax as I go through each of the cards. Okay. Okay, so let's begin with the first card. The first card is El Shadol Grista. This card has a fire attribute and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Rock type, fusion with the effect. One Shadol monster plus one fire monster must first be fusion summoned when your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters while you have a Shadol card in your hand quick effect you can negate the summon and if you do, destroy that monster then send one Shadol card from your hand to the graveyard you can only use this effect of El Shadol Krista once per turn if this card is sent to the graveyard you can target one Shadol Spell or Trap card in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. This card has an attack of 2,450 and a defense of 1,950. The next card is El Shadol Apcalone. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. Spellcaster type, fusion with the effect. Two Shadol monsters with different attributes. Must first be fusion summoned. Cannot be destroyed by battle. You can only use each of the following effects of El Shadol ab Cologne once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up card on the field negated effects. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Shadol card from your deck or graveyard to your hand, then discard one card. This card has an attack of 2,500 and a defense of 2,000. The next card is El Shadol Construct. This card has a light attribute and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fairy type, fusion with the effect. One Shadol monster plus one light monster. Must first be fusion summoned. If this card is special summoned, you can send one Shadol card from your deck to the graveyard. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a special summoned monster, destroy that monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadol Spell or Trap card in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. This card has an attack of 2,800 and a defense of 2,500. The next card is 
Quatrido Chaos. This card has a light attribute and is a level 2. Spellcaster type, flip, with the effect. Flip, you can special summon one Shadol monster from your hand in face-up or face-down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send one Shadol monster from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do, for the rest of this turn, all monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the original level of that monster sent to the graveyard, times by a hundred. You can only use one Quad Shadol Chaos effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 900, and a defense of 100. The next card is Re Shadol Wendy. This card has a wind attribute, and is a level 3. Psychic type, flip, with the effect, flip. You can special summon one Shadol monster from your deck in face-up or face-down defense position, except re Shadol Wendy. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon one Shadol monster from your deck in face-down defense position, except re Shadol Wendy. You can only use one re Shadol Wendy effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 1,500, and a defense of 1,000. The next card is Nile Shadol Ariel. This card has a water attribute, and is a level 4. Psychic type, flip, with the effect, flip. You can target one of your banished Shadol monsters, Special summon it in face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target up to three cards in the graveyards. Banish them. You can only use one Nile Shadol aerial effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 1000 and a defense of 1800. The next card is Resh Shadol Incarnation. This is a trap card. Target one Shadol monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in face up or face down defense position. You can banish this card and one Shadol card from your graveyard. Then activate one of these effects. Change one face down monster you control to face up defense position. Change one face down monster you control to face up defense position. Change one face-up monster you control to face-down defense position. You can only use one Rasha doll incarnation effect per turn, and only once that turn. The next card is El Shadol Winder. This card has a dark attribute, and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spellcaster type. Fusion, with the effect, one Shadol monster plus one Dark monster, must first be fusion summoned, cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effects. Each player can only special summon monster or monsters once per turn, while this card is face up on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadol spell or trap card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. This card has an attack of 2,200, and a defense of 800. The next card is El Shadol Shekinaga. This card has an earth attribute, and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Machine type, fusion, with the effect. One Shadol monster plus one Earth monster must first be fusion summoned. When a special summoned monster activates its effect, while you have a Shadol card in your hand, quick effect, you can negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Then send one Shadol card from your hand to the graveyard. You can only use this effect of El Shadol Shakanaga once per turn. 
If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal Spell or Trap card in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. This card has an attack of 2,600 and a defense of 3,000. The next card is Shadal Fusion. This is a spell card. Fusion summon one Shadal Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If your opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, you can also use monsters in your deck as fusion material. You can only activate one Shadal fusion per turn. The next card is Shadal Falco. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 2. Spellcaster type Flip, Tuna, with the effect, Flip. You can target one Shadol monster in your graveyard, except Shadol Falco. Special summon it in face down, defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon it in face down, defense position. You can only use one Shadol Falco effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 600 and a defense of 1,400. The next card is Shadol Hedgehog. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 3. Spellcaster type, flip, with the effect, flip. You can add one Shadol spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can add one Shadol monster from your deck to your hand, except Shadol Hedgehog. You can only use one Shadol Hedgehog effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 800, and a defense of 200. The next card is Shadol Squamata. This card has a dark attribute, and is a level 4. Spellcaster type, flip, with the effect, flip. You can target one monster on the field, destroy it. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send one Shadol card from your deck to the graveyard, except Shadol Squamata. You can only use one Shadol Squamata effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 1,800 and a defense of 1,000. The next card is Shadol Dragon. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 4. Spellcaster type, flip, with the effect, flip. You can target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one spell or trap card on the field. Destroy it. You can only use one Shadol Dragon effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 1,900 and a defense of 0. The next card is Shadol Beast. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spellcaster type, flip, with the effect, flip. You can draw two cards, then discard one card. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can draw one card. You can only use one Shadol Beast effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 2,200 and a defense of 1,700. The next card is Shadol Hound. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 4. Spellcaster type, flip, with the effect, flip. You can target one Shadol card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one monster on the field, change its battle position. Flip monster's effects are not activated at this time, 
except Shadol monsters. You can only use one Shadol Hound effect per turn, and only once that turn. This card has an attack of 1,600 and a defense of 900. The next card is Shadol Zephranaga. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 2. Spellcaster type, Pendulum, with the effect, if this card is Pendulum summoned or sent to the graveyard, you can target one card in either player's Pendulum zone, return it to the hand. You must have a Zephra card in your Pendulum zone to activate and to resolve this effect. You can only use this effect of Shadol Zephra Naga once per turn. You cannot Pendulum summon monsters except Shadol and Zephra monsters. This effect cannot be negated. This card has an attack of 900 and a defense of 100. The next card is Shadol Zephra Core. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 4. Rock type, Pendulum, with the effect. If this card is Pendulum summoned or sent to the graveyard, you can target one Zephra card in your Pendulum Zone, except Shadol Zephra Core. Special summon it. You can only use this effect of Shadol Zephra Core once per turn. This card has an attack of 450 and a defense of 1950. The next card is Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. This card has a light attribute and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Warrior type, with the effect, cannot be special summoned or set, must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from your graveyard. Once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Target one monster on the field, banish it. This card cannot attack the turn this effect is activated. If this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it can make a second attack in a row. This card has an attack of 3000 and a defense of 2500. The next card is Lava Golem. This card has a fire attribute and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fiend type, with the effect, cannot be normal summoned or set, must first be special summoned from your hand to your opponent's field by tributing two monsters they control. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you special summon this card. Once per turn, during your standby phase, take 1000 damage. This card has an attack of 3,000 and a defense of 2,500. The next card is Dark Armed Dragon. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Dragon type, with the effect, cannot be normal summoned or set must be special summoned from your hand by having exactly three dark monsters in your graveyard. You can banish one dark monster from your graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy that target. This card has an attack of 2800 and a defense of 1000. The next card is Fairy Tale Sleeper. This card has a light attribute and is a level 4. Spellcaster type, Flip, with the effect. Flip, you can special summon one monster from your hand. When your opponent activates a normal spell or trap card, Quick Effect, you contribute one other monster, the activated effect becomes change one face-up monster your opponent controls to face-down defense position. You can only use this effect of Fairy Tail Sleeper once per turn. This card has an attack of 1850 and a defense of 
1000. The next card is Perform Mage Trick Clown. This card has a light attribute and is a level 4. Spellcaster type with the effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Performage monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but its attack and defense become zero. Then you take 1000 damage. You can only use this effect of Perform Age Trick Clown once per turn. This card has an attack of 1600 and a defense of 1200. The next card is Armageddon Knight. This card has a dark attribute and is a level 4. Warrior type with the effect. When this card is summoned, you can send one dark monster from your deck to the graveyard. This card has an attack of 1,400 and a defense of 1,200. The next card is Felis, Light Sworn Archer. This card has a light attribute and is a level 4. Beast Warrior type. Tuna, with the effect, cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned by a card effect. If this card is sent from your deck to the graveyard by a monster effect, special summon it. You can tribute to this card, then target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that target, then send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. This card has an attack of 1100 and a defense of 2,000. The next card is Electromagnetic Turtle. This card has a light attribute and is a level 4. Machine type with the effect. During your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, end the battle phase. You can only use this effect of Electromagnetic Turtle once per duel. This card has an attack of 0 and a defense of 1800. The next card is Mathematician. This card has an Earth attribute and is a level 3. Spellcaster type with the effect. When this card is normal summoned, you can send one level 4 or lower monster from your deck to the graveyard. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card. This card has an attack of 1500 and a defense of 500. The next card is Curry Bandit. This card has a dark attribute and is a level Three. Fiend type with the effect. During the end phase, if this card was normal summoned this turn, you can tribute this card. Excavate the top five cards of your deck. You can add one excavated spell or trap card to your hand. Also, send the remaining cards to the graveyard. This card has an attack of 1000 and a defense of 700. The next card is Piro Piro Serperus. This card has an earth attribute and is a level 3. Beast type with the effect. If you take damage by battle or an opponent's card effect while this card is in the graveyard, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy it. This card has an attack of 0 and a defense of 1800. The next card is Curse of the Shadow Prison. This is a spell card. Each time a Shadol monster or monsters is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, place one spellstone counter on this card for each sent monster. All monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack for each spellstone counter on this card during your opponent's turn only. Each time you fusion summon a Shadol fusion monster, 
you can remove three spellstone counters from this card to use one appropriate face-up monster your opponent controls as one of the fusion materials. The next card is El Shadal Fusion. This is a spell card. Fusion summon one Shadal Fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. You can only activate one El Shadal Fusion per turn. The next card is Nephi Shadal Fusion. This is a spell card. Activate this card by declaring one attribute. Equip only to a Shadal monster, and it becomes that attribute. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one Shadal fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material, including the equipped monster. You can only use this effect of Nephi Shadal fusion once per turn. The next card is Super Polymerization. This is a spell card. Discard one card. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from either field as fusion material. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. The next card is Instant Fusion. This is a spell card. Pay 1000 life points. Special summon one level 5 or lower fusion monster from your extra deck, but it cannot attack. Also, it is destroyed during the end phase. This is treated as a fusion summon. You can only activate one instant fusion per turn. The next card is Allure of Darkness. This is a spell card. Draw two cards, then banish one dark monster from your hand, or, if you do not have any in your hand, send your entire hand to the graveyard. The next card is Foolish Burial. This is a spell card. Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. The next card is Living Fossil. This is a spell card. Activate this card by targeting one level 4 or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it and equip it with this card, but banish it when it leaves the field, even if this card has left the field. When this card leaves the field, banish the equipped monster. The equipped monster loses a thousand attack and defense. Also, its effects are negated. You can only activate one living fossil per turn. The next card is Pot of Avarice. This is a spell card. Target five monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle all five into the deck, then draw two cards. The next card is Twin Twisters. This is a spell card. Discard one card, then target up to two spells or traps on the field. Destroy them. The next card is Shadol Core. This is a trap card. Special summon this card as an effect monster. Spellcaster, Dark, level 9, attack 1450, defense 1950. This card is also still a trap. If summoned this way, you can substitute this monster for one fusion material that lists an attribute on a Shadol fusion monster card. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one Shadol spell or trap card in your graveyard, except Shadol core. Add it to your hand. The next card is Sinister Shadow Games. This is a trap card. Send one Shadol card from your deck to the graveyard. Then you can change any number of face down defense position Shadol monsters you control to face up defense position. The next card is 
Parushadol Aeon. This is a trap card. Target one Shadol monster you control. Send one Shadol card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do, the targeted monster gains 1000 attack and defense, but is changed to face down defense position during the end phase. The next card is Lost Wind. This is a trap card. Target one face-up special summoned monster on the field. Negate its effects. Also, its original attack is halved. If a monster is special summoned from your opponent's extra deck, while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. The next card is Unending Nightmare. This is a trap card. You can pay 1,000 life points, then target one face-up spell or trap on the field. Destroy it. You can only activate this effect of Unending Nightmare once per chain. The next card is Necrofusion. This is a trap card. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your graveyard face down, but it cannot attack this turn. And the last card in the Shadol Showdown Structure deck is Subterra Succession. This is a trap card. Activate one of these effects. Also, after that, Set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. Send one monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard, and if you do, add one flip monster from your deck to your hand with the same attribute, but a different name, as that monster before it was sent to the graveyard. Send one flip monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard, and if you do, add one monster from your deck to your hand with the same attribute but a lower original level, as that monster before it was sent to the graveyard. You can only activate one sub terra succession per turn. So that is all of the cards inside the Shadol Showdown structure deck. If you would like to see any of my previous Yu-Gi-Oh deck unboxings, I will leave a link to some of them in the description for you. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.